Basically what I call an August done. It's a fly I like to use towards the end of the season. Uh, as well as the beginning of the season, it can be extremely good, especially in dull days. But as the autumn comes in, late, late August into September, this is one of my favourite flies. Now all I do, do is really change the hackle. I want to lighten it up or darken it down. Now, the hook is, this is a SLD partridge. It's a great wee hook. In this case it's a barbless hook, and it's a size 14. Now you could use a grey thread, or in this case I'm just going to use black. It's a uni, uni an AO. Now I'm simply going to start at the eye of the hook, put down a layer of thread, halfway along the shank, remove the base piece, bring the thread halfway back up. And this will give you the position for the wing. Now the wing is deer belly hair. In this case, I've just been dyed, or dyed grey. Now, it's a good colour. Now, you don't need a lot, just going to give an impression of a wing. I'm going to stack it. Just remove the fine fluff. Got to remove the fine under fur. It will stack much easier if you do that. Just pull it through your fingers, or through a small comb. Put into your stacker tip first. Just tap it on your desk. Bring your stacker up, and you'll see the tips have all lined up, and then remove them. Now the length of the wing, you're looking as a balance, the full length of the hook. So if you measure the length of the wing, from the eye to the bend, or the back of the hook, I'll give you a measure. So there it's there. Tie it up forward of the eye, a couple of loose turns first, tighten up, and then what I do here is take the thread, down about maybe two to three mil from the area where I've tied in the wing and then break off the deer hair ends. These are the hollow ends, very easy to break off. The tips will be okay, don't worry about them, they'll stay on. You just got to practice doing that, you don't have to do it, you can cut it. I just like doing it because you can see you get a really neat finish. And then take your thread down. Now obviously it's a barbless hook, but bring your thread where you would normally bring it down to with the just imagine a barb being there and that's where you would stop or just before you get around the bend of the hook. For the tail, Coq de Leon, great it's a lovely fibre. And this is the company, this is Hairline Dubbin. And the one I've got is called Coq de Leon Dark Speckled. Now six ninety nine this cost me out of the Glasgow Angling Centre. Now the feathers, I get 12 feathers, which is a great buy, and there you are. So I mean you get different colours, slightly darker, or slightly lighter, and a more red colour, but this is the one of the ones I like. Now I'm going to take quite a few fibres off, don't be shy, just use, especially for this size of fly, all I do is I'm on the top, so you want the tail length to be much the hook length. You can bring your thread underneath, or you can split the fibres, which I'm going to do, like, and do a figure eight through, just to spread the fibres. Figure eight will always hold them apart, nice and tight. There you go. That just spreads away to the fly. And you see I've quite a few fibres there. Because I want this fly to last. And uh, though the cotyledon feathers or fibres are really strong. By adding a few extra. And the fish don't mind them. Especially when it's like dull and the way things are towards the end of the season. And at the beginning of the season you can get away with just exaggerating something. And like the tail is especially keeps the fly up and on the surface. Now, for the body, mole is a, a great fibre I like. Now, but just to, so when you actually take the fur from the skin of the mole, you don't get a huge amount, and sometimes it's quite hard to dub. 
So what you, what to do is add in a bit of rabbit, just a, just some of the under for more than the actual guard hair, and that'll basically hold it together better for you. And I like it anyway, so and it dubs extremely easy. Just lightly dub it into your, your thread, slide it up. Now I always like to get it started, and then basically once you've got it anchored onto the shank. You can twist and tighten up, make it as thin as you want, as thick as you want. It's a nice shape that you're looking for. And stretch it out and twist as you go. Now you could rub this if you want it, but I don't really bother. Just remove the excess. Just tighten up this last turn or so, stretch it out. There you go. Now for the hackle, what I'm using. These are, this is an, an Indian cape, it was a, basically a grizzle, and I've dyed it grey, you can't really see it too well there, but it's got a grey tinge through it, it's just the same colour as the body and uh, the deer hair, it's got that nice colour in it, the original colour was this one, so these are great hackles, and the reason I like them is because they got a mix of two fibres within the hackle, and uh, just got to get through the the feathers or the, the capes to find the, the one you like. Now the hackle fibre length you're looking just slightly shorter than the wing. And uh, make sure that you get a good feather. There you go. Now you don't get a lot of flat feathers out of these capes but you get enough to for yourself. Now if you look at the, the feather, at the bottom end it's really nice and soft. It's got the grey colour. Then as you go up, you get the sharper fibre, the cock fibre. Now having that as a nice mix works extremely well. So you take away the fluff at the bottom. Catch it on this side of the wing. Lift the fibres. Bring the thread to the front and the stem of the hackle. Tie it down. Making a nice even surface to wind the hackle on. You could wind the hackle over some dubbing, but I don't really bother. Just get your hackle. And then start to wind down towards down towards the wing. And don't worry if it comes off the, the hackle pliers. Just keep going. Just get to this point. Lift your wing. Get it right in close to the root of the wing. And then just wind till you run out of hackle. Right towards the eye, across the hackle. A good two or three turns down. I usually remove the hackle pliers and fold the tip back and any fibre that's going forward with the eye, draw them back. And then keeping the thread tight and forget everything just now. Flip finish. Trim away the thread and just come in and find the hackle point. And break it off. Now what I like to do here, because of the type of hackle it is, it's, it's just ideal for lifting. You could trim underneath if you want, but I prefer just to pull the fibres off either side of the hook and into the wing. And there you are. Very simple fly. Just get it sitting so you can see it's at its best. And then a wee bit of varnish. And if you look at the brush I'm using, it's actually tapered, so you can get really in there. It was one of the members on YouTube encouraged me to taper the the brush. I'd like to thank him. It makes a huge difference if you do that. And there you are. And that there is what I call my August done. It's a great pattern to have. Simple dressing. And I'm sure you'll catch fish on it. And any size, tie it, different sizes, tie it. E bigger if you want, I mean definitely bigger, and smaller. And you'll, you'll catch fish with different species coming off. Because on a grey day, you want a grey fly. And there you go. Mm -hmm.